Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new Let's Play with me, Clutch Andrew the Gamer, and this looks familiar to players, doesn't it? Yes, with the beautiful Triforce, and what? That's in Japanese. I wonder why. What could possibly be going on here today? Well, the truth is, this is episode 3, The Phantom Menace. I mean, A Link to the Pass. <laughs> I completely screwed that up. Randomizer. Okay, we're going to be doing things random here. After mostly disregarding what happened in the first two games. Okay. Link, Link, he awakens to his uncle leaving the house. Hi, uncle. Just runs out the door. Run out the door into the rainy night. Okay. Are you going to follow him, Link? Ganon. Ganon's returned and he's moved around all the items in Hyrule. That sucks. You will have to find all the items necessary to beat Ganon. Oh, that should be easy. We have beaten him before. We'll do it again. Hey, this is my big chance to be a hero. Yay! You must get enough crystals to beat Ganon. Oh, that's nothing. That's simple. Easy peasy. Ooh, whoa. We're falling. We're falling. Oh. Into a pink throne room. This is nice. Look at this Stalfos on the throne. Yeah, he's the good king of Hyrule until recently. Oh no, she's being led away. Well, they are prisoners. They must get their due punishment. It is your time to shine. Or will we save them? Will we break them out of prison? Oh no, we're witnessing an execution. He's right? Oh, what's he doing? Oh my god, that's very, very uh, epileptic, though. And he just vaporized her. You know, also, you need to defeat this guy. I'd say that sounds about right. Let's go beat that guy as we start Link to the Past Randomizer with Clectic Andrew and Link. Let us go meet Link, everyone. We will see him again for the first time in a while. Oh wow, look at him. He looks cool. Let us start at Sanctuary. We can start at the Sanctuary. Wow, that's pretty nice. Hey, look at me, everyone. Look at me. Hey, Zelda. Hey, look, hey, Mr. Sage. Look at me. Don't I look cool? Oh, you have nothing to say? No, we have nothing to say to you, dearie. Move along now. Move along. Nothing to see here. Nothing to do here. Okay, we're out of here. Are you right, Eclectic Andrew? Yeah, Link, we're out of here. Well... Uh, Randomizer gets to start open world. No rainy day, no rainy night, no sword in hand. What? No sword in hand? Really? No, all you've got is your green clothes, Link. Wow, I better run from all these guards then. What's the sign say? Oh, to Kakariko Village. Nice. Let's go to Kakariko Village. There should be a lot of items there, shouldn't there? Yes, it's... As before... It's basically, this is basically the base game, with some tweaks to do it. This is the Japanese version of the game. Hey dude, hey I'm just some dude, this is Blind's Hut, but I'm just some dude. I got nothing to do here, but just sit around. Okay dude, have a good day. I will dude. Oh dude, dude, totally. <laughs> Uh, this is the Japanese version of the game, of the base game, which has been recoded a little bit. Ooh, the Power Glove. To be available in the Moon Pearl. To be available... Not really... Officially. It's been recoded to have the randomizer, with all the items moved around. Isn't that neat? And it's also neat that we can start the game just really nilly, it's just anywhere we want. Go anywhere we want. And the telepathic tiles can have hints. Ah, that sounds nice. Now, as you saw here, and back in Blind's Hut, I don't have any bombs, do we, Link? No, not a single one. No, not one bit. And there's these cracked walls all over the place. Ooh, but there are some arrows. And a shovel. Nice. Moon Pearl, Power Glove, Shovel. We're just hitting all the bricks today. All the hot topics. 
Ooh, and we only have 81 rupees. That sucks. If not, if we had 100, we could buy from this salesman here. And I noticed something earlier today. The salesman... He doesn't look like... Oh, look, he's moving. I never noticed before that he moves. He just always should sat still for me whenever I played the game. But no, he moves, apparently. He has a moving animation. Does he only move when I'm moving? No, he doesn't move when I'm moving. No, uh, it's nothing. Yes, any treasure chest is available for us to have items of any kind we want. And this is Christo's hut. He's out searching for a bow. Yes, Christo is one of the main guys in the driving force of the randomizer community. I'm sick. Show me a bottle. Get me something. And get you something, too. Yes, because we don't have a bottle, we can't talk to this little kid. But of course, since we know where all the treasure chests in the game are, we might be able to find a treasure chest with a bottle in it. Because bottles won't just be given away for free by from their normal locations. They could be. But I want to stop at the shop really quick in town and buy some bombs. Yay, a reason to buy bombs. Yes, there is a reason to buy bombs. Because, if we return to Christo's hut, the well, and Blind's hut, we can... Sure. Annoying phone. What are you doing beeping at me like that? We can use the- we can enter these three cracked- cracked walls. And also be really nice coming up in the future. Hey, a bottle! Yay, now we can return to the kid and get a, get the net item. But yes, we should also be able to use bombs somewhere else nearby Kakariko Village. Won't that be nice? Yeah. And a net? Do you give me a net? No, bombos. Whoa, holy crap. Leave me alone, I'm sick. You have my item, dude. Bro, dude. Dude, bro, dude. I'm in blind spot. Come get the bomb item. Sure, dude, I'm coming. And I still don't have enough money, so I don't have enough money to buy the doohickey from the salesman. Uh, what can we expect from Blind's Hut today? Because, of course, this is mostly random. It's randomly generated online from the randomizer's website. And the community is very tight-knit, very helpful, very... I mean, they basically play this game every year on something called Speed Gaming on Twitch, so that's nice. It's fun to watch. It's a tournament. They, they have hundreds of people play the game over and over again in random different little random seeds, and it's fun to watch. You know, and I actually got into this because of my grandmother. Because we randomly found Speed Gaming on YouTube... And they had all these randomizer Zelda races, and we were like, what's that? Uh, just 20 rupees. And we watched some of it, and my grandmother got so interested in it, she basically watched it, the tournament. We tried to watch other tournaments, but she couldn't see too well because they had four players competing against each other. But we would watch, she would watch the same tournament over and over and over and over again. And she swore up and down that she saw new things all the time in the Let's Players, in the rant, in the races. And she watched it over and over again for two years. Anytime I went to work, she'd turn it on, or have me turn it on for her. Oh wow, 50 rupees up on that shelf. Too bad there's no way to tackle this object at present, at our present course. But yeah, she just loved watching the tournament over and over again. Gee, I wonder what could possibly be. Hey, dude. What do you have to say? I want off my brother Leo. What a dingus. Oh no, not Leo. Dr. Leo? No, not Dr. Leo. No, he's not a doctor. He's a dingus. Did you come from my brother's room? Are we cool? Are we cool? Are we cool, dude? Bro, your brother Leo wants to know if we're cool. I should probably talk to him. He kissed my girl. 
I don't know. Not kissing your girl, that's horrible. It's especially horrible when you're twins. And yes, this little race, we can run this race really quick at right now. Even without a sword. Can you do it, Link? Can you do it? Well, let me try. Let me try. We have 15 seconds. Go, 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 dude, go. Go faster, faster, faster. I'm going as fast as I can. I'm going as fast as I can. I mean, there's a bunch of little bushes here. Why are you reading the sign? Run, jump over the, over the, over the fence. And your time was 11 seconds, dude. Nice. You can have this trash. What trash? That's not trash. That's a mother flippin' hook shot. Oh man, I love me a hook shot. A hook shot is very good at this point in the randomizer. It's basically our number one weapon. Also, a very good travel tool. As you can see, I can hook shot to bushes, hook shot to trees. Just move along a little bit quicker. And it's a good weapon because it will stun guards. It will kill a few other enemies that we'll be countering sometime soon. Hey, the forest kid is near. However, we don't get stopped by any ghosty ghost, and we see the animals run away, and because we have the shovel, whoop de doo 10 arrows. We're already at full arrows here. What am I going to do about these arrows? What am I going to do? I don't have a bow. Where, oh, where could a bow be? It could be anywhere, because this is a randomizer. A very cool thing. Normally, whenever you play the base game and visit Kakariko, you normally have to go up, over, and around, past your house, Link. But now, with the power glove in hand from the randomizer, you can just travel down here by way of this uh, little rock. This little valley and rock. Oh, I love this. And yay, full magic. Desert. It's hot. Yes, yes, it is very hot nowadays, isn't it? Very, very hot. It's so hot. If you need money, if you need a little extra money, like I kind of do, come down here. And bro, look at you. You have a bunch of pots. So you like busted down my door and are being a jerk by talking to me. Normally I would be angry and make you pay for it. But I bet you're just going to break all my pots and steal my 50 rupees, aren't you? Wow, you have 50 rupees here? Wow, bro. Wow, 50 rupees. Why do you have 50 rupees under pots? Yes, 10 pots, 5 blue, ru uh, blue rupees under each one, worth 5 rupees each. Yes, that means we get 50 rupees for stealing from that guy under the cave. Speaking of caves, don't forget the cave. See, the hookshot killed the vulture. Don't forget the cave, where you find out from the old man in the desert that you need the Book of Medora in order to enter the Desert Palace. And because we don't have the book, we can't enter the Desert Palace, so really not much to do here, except bomb open this wall, and where we would have normally found a heart piece, we now find randomly in this chest, in this little outlet, Oh, a heart piece. Yay. So we are finding some things, of course, in their vanilla location, as you would say. Uh, next stop. Uh, you can also run all the way over to the ledge over here by the Desert Palace. You know, the one where you'd find another heart piece and would normally look at. To, you can look to see what the, pri what the prize is before you go over there. There's really no need to do that right now. Not today. Not today, Satan. I stunned you, you little rock bug. Oh, I didn't talk to Agna. Uh, he likes to talk about fish. If you talk to him, he would talk about fish in a randomizer. Anyways, the water gate. House, or whatever this is, open the water gate. Release the Kraken! No, release the water. And we find a heart piece in vanilla location. And we can also go up in here. And if I had another item, I could show off something else, but I'll show it off at another time. And yay, red ruby, yum. Not a sponsor. <laughs> Ooh, a little bit of slowdown. Don't mind that slowdown. Just too many fish on the screen. Fish, a bunny. Ah, oh, come on, bro. 
You did not have to hit me with that arrow. Um, over this way, we will find another cave. You recall in the base game, there's two pits, basically three hallways with moldorms on them. And inside a locked door, you can find a thief, a rogue, a, a ne'er-do-well, along with four treasure chests. And what does ne'er-do-well ne need with four treasure chests anyways? He doesn't need them. So we're going to go into his cave and open them all up. Yes siree, and find, oh, a magic cape. 50 more rupees, and talk to him, of course. For Quake, oh my goodness. The magic mirror! And more bombs, yay! Yay, magic mirror. This is a good cave. This is a good early cave to visit in a randomizer. And of course there is, at least, also, the Ice Rod Cave on the other side of Lake Hylia. Hmm. I'm kind of debating what I want to do over here. Kind of debating. Kind of thinking on myself. I know I'm going over here, but I'm not liking I'm going over here. Because there is another... Oh, I missed him. There is another cave under this boulder that we can lift with the power glove. And find another thief with more four pots. And I'm a rupee pot farmer. One day I will take over the world with my skills. Have you met my brother in the desert? He's way richer than I am. That sucks. Yes, uh, he only has four pots with rupees in them. Blue rupees. And another thing we can get is, of course, the ice rod cave. And I want to talk right now, since you can hear it, can't you? The low health chime. It's chirping! Yes, it's going at quarter speed. An option you can choose. Red Ruby. Not a sponsor. That you can choose when you select to create or generate the randomizer. And I don't believe I have anything else to do over here, so I will save and quit. And another thing I can do... Ooh, look at all the stuff I have. Yay! Go to Sanctuary again. Just not avoiding Link's house, but just kind of... I have other things to do. What can I possibly have to do? Yeah, what could we have to do here? We're here again. Yeah, we're here again. Oh boy, I, why didn't I send that guard? Well, at least I healed. That's a good thing. Yes, there are many options you can choose from the generator page of the Link to the Past website. Randomizer website. There's, as you can see, I have blue hearts. Yes, blue dabu dee dabu die because I like blue. There's the quarter speed of the chirping noise. The quarter speed heart noise. Low health noise, I mean. Oh, and as you can see also, because I'm playing Randomizer, it's been recoded to allow Link to carry over a thousand bloody rupees. Whoop-dee-doo, duh, yay, yay. Oh, that just takes me back here. Sure, why not? That's pretty nice. We shouldn't have no want of money ever again in this game. Ow. Uh, I nearly avoided those ratty rats. Micey mice. Ratty rats. And as you can see, Link is not Link to the past Link. Yeah, I'm feeling kind of small. I mean, Zelda, do you think I look small? Yes, dear. You look wonderful. Oh, thank you, Zelda. Whoops. And that's why you don't equip the mirror in case you fat finger yourself. Don't say that again, Andrew. Uh, well, uh, because Link is actually choosable to be a different playable character on the generator as well. Hi, Link, sweetie. Are you okay? I'm okay. You kind of vanished there. I'm okay. You sure you're okay? I'm okay. 
Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Ah, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm okay, aren't I, Eclectic Andrew? Oh, why am I not stunning these guards in the first shot? I think we're okay, Link. We'll be okay. And you will be okay when all of creation goes to die. You will be okay. I love that song, too. Hmm, bumpkins. One of us always lies. Hmm, interesting. One of us always tells the truth. Hmm, interesting. Fascinating. A puzzle, a riddle, a conundrum. Which is stronger, the ultimate sword or the ultimate shield? Hey, the master sword. All right, I have a sword already. Yay, sword. Oh, that's a throwing sword. Yes, it is, uh, Link, isn't it? A throwing sword. Hey, there's bombs here, but the mushroom would be. Oh, I wanted a mushroom. Yeah, I kind of wanted a mushroom too, Link. Oh. <sighs> well. More bombs. Well, well, well. Hey, dude. Hey, have you seen Andy? He was out looking for a prize D thermodyne. I wonder when he will be back. Yeah. Wonder when Andy will be back. And you know what, everyone? We will end that here today for now of Link to the Past Randomizer. And until next time, I hope you all take care of yourselves and have fun. And say goodbye, Link. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. See ya. Farewell. Come back soon, you hear? Yes, come back soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.